the Target Cougar Town spot, we took our show talent and put it into the world of Target. Here we're taking their movie talent and somewhat integrating it into that TBS brand space. Um, that's, that's what we do. We try to mix and mingle. I have a question. Sure. Um, it's, about brand, it's about break architecture. And where do you find the most reliable place to put one of these spots to draw through at the beginning of a break or to end up at the end of the break or do you have some kind of theory behind it? Sure, you? sure. Um, you know, I'm going to think of it more of like a, from a DVR standpoint. <clears throat> I think when people are watching, uh, they, they'd probably be more inclined to, as it finishes, they're not going to jump right on it. So that A slot uh, feels like a really good slot to me. Um, I know, you know, I don't know if you guys uh, watch Mad Men, but a couple years ago, Mad Men had that great campaign they did where it was looked like the show, um, and they inserted these spots in the middle of the pod. And uh, so if you're DVR and you're like, whoa, whoa, what is that? Go back, go back. That looked like it was Mad Men. And then it kind of stopped you in the middle of things, and you'd watch their spot down, and it would pitch to Dove, I think was the big sponsor for that. And then hopefully it would keep you through the remainder of that pod. I, you know, I think it's going to be whatever works for you. I personally really like that A slot um, or the Z slot where again you're kind of fast forwarding, you stop and it rolls back and you get 10 seconds that billboard slot right before the show starts back up. I think it's a pretty solid place too. But yeah, it's a good question. Cool. I have a quick question too. Yeah. Um, multiple platforms. So what are you offering advertisers that's not on air? Or is that something you're thinking about and moving into? Well, uh, Online and social. Oh, oh, sure, sure. Promotions. Yeah, no, we, much like Teresa's talking about, you know, it's, it's a world of hashtags uh, where we're trying to engage a conversation, and that is getting baked into the cake now. What we're doing, we have an idea we're kicking around right now that we'll use hashtags in kind of a unique way. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, definitely a space we're trying to endeavor into. I mean, the social engagement, we did a lot of... Um, Second, uh, second screen uh, app stuff. We uh, Conan in particular, huge uh, market there. The the Team Coco team, their their digital team is just fantastic, and what they've made for their uh, uh, their sync app material is just terrific. And it's we promote it, but uh, boy, it's easy. Uh, that's just uh, great branding to to play with because it's such wonderful material. So that had a big um, support and Big Bang Theory also. Uh, pretty good support on their second uh, second screen app uh, applications as well. Yeah, so the way it works with the advertisers is they'll be put into that that sync app uh, space, and then we get tasked with creating a promotion that'll toss to it uh, on air, and it'll air the, the, the spots that we make will air outside of the show because they don't always buy in the show. It's a little more expensive, but uh, yeah, definitely a lot of support being built around whatever second screen application. And I, I think that you can forward on this better than I would. Uh, I think that the findings are that people really are not doing a lot of second screen uh, syncing during the show. But that's the beauty of the Conan one in particular is it works even if you've got it on DVR because it's sort of like done in a time allocation uh, within the technology of it, the, the way it's worked, the way it connects. Um, so you can stop it down and engage and then start back up again. 